Hello, colonists, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. I've got some rum and cigars here, and rum, as I recall, is worth quite a... not rum. <clears throat> cigars, as I recall, are worth quite a lot. 1,900 for 100 tons. So I will save those cigars for Europe, but the rum I'll happily trade to the Dutch. Oh, wow, 100 horses. I will take those horses. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> All right. And I've still got nothing to do with his wagon train, especially with those Frenchmen fortified outside of my colony. And we are continuing to explore the mid atlant well, western Atlantic. One more spot. One, two, three, four. There we go. That works. Great. And oh, look, it's some kind of French privateer that shouldn't be here. Yeah, that's right. French privateer venturing outside our fortresses in the middle of a war. What are they thinking? What can they be thinking? Alright, so over here... I don't think the Dutch are going to offer the same cargo twice in a row. They just That's just not how they work. But I can certainly offer them more rum and get money for it. Oh, wow, another hundred horses. Thank you. That is generous. Does that mean that different colonies actually have different cargoes for sale? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that. Not too closely, but I do want to know. Alright. Hmm. Did I already take care of those dragoons? Yeah, I did. They're in Santo Domingo? No, they're not. Where did I put those dragoons? Oh, they're on the ship. No, that's not right. Let me look at the naval advisor. Frigate, 5447. Uh, 5447. That ship has dragoons on it? Naval advisor. No, no, no. 2728. So why... Aren't they listed with a ship at 2728? Yeah, it's this one right here. Ah, whatever. All right, they're they're going to get there. They will get to their destination, and they will kill that stupid Frenchman stealing our lumber for no good reason. What did I ever do to the French? All right, I kind of stole their first colony. What was it called? Montreal or something? Burned it? Yeah. Alright, I can I can understand that. That was a little uncalled for. But seriously, I had to get a colony started. We were at 1550 or something like that, and we didn't have a colony. It was pathetic. We had to do something. We had to rescue ourselves from the evil French plans for making this area New France. Well, oh well. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I better not run into some French frigate right now. All right. Well, let's try that again. Yeah! <laughs> There's supposed to be a road here. I probably mentioned this before, but I can't tell because I had to do this video more than once. Um, supposed to be a road right here, but I just didn't get around to it. This is probably going to lose me some horses, but... Gotta do it. Yeah! <laughs> nice job. Wow, uh, you were defeated by some unarmed soldiers. That is the worst Dragoon ever. Great. Do I have George Washington? I'm getting a lot of veterans. I don't think I have George Washington. George Washington. Yeah, I've got George Washington. So every battle a non-veteran wins. The veteran... Every battle any soldier not a veteran wins becomes a veteran. So that's pretty good. French privateer. <laughs> Knock yourself out. 
I don't think I've lost any frigates to privateers. Certainly they've been damaged, but I don't think any of them have sunk. Curacao. The Incas. Oh, come on, I was just going to sell some cigars for 1,900 gold. Fine, throw them into the ocean. Whatever. All right, we need another congressman. We can have Sieur de la Salle, which gives us stockades that we don't need. Francis Drake, which improves the combat strengths of my one remaining privateer, if I want to use it, by 50%. This is a good... This is a good congressman for... <clears throat> if if you are actually playing with privateers, but I'm not... I'm kind of past the privateer phrase. Phase. Liberty Bell production is increased by the value of the current tax rate. Zero percent. Alright, well, not that Thomas Paine is a bad choice, but for us, he doesn't do anything. And Juan de Sepulveda, which increases the chance of Indian commerce. So, I don't know, I don't really have much to do here, so I'm just gonna grab Drake. <coughs> and try and voice these cigars on New Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm gonna have to blockade it because I need to trade some cigars. 75 coats or 1,959 gold. Uh, just give us the 1,959 gold. I don't want coats. I really don't want coats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I don't know what I'm doing with this frigate, so I'll just. I don't know. Go get some rum? Yes, go get some rum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's usually something that needs to be done. Because I don't have a custom house in San Domingo at the moment. Alright, these Frenchmen are boiling out of Quebec again, and it's gone on long enough. I'm not playing their game. Alright, I've still got some rum. Buy it. A hundred more horses. Yes! Thank you. Alright, check this out. 100 muskets, 100 tools, 100 trade goods, and 100 coats. Now the only problem is that our frigate is right next to this fort. How about that? How about that? And there's some Dutch blocking this road that I'm building. <laughs> that drives me nuts. Uh, you know, I don't really like the uh, Alpha, Centauri, Alpha Centauri style territory thing that they do in the new Civilization games. I don't like that at all. It just... I just think there should be a small buffer around the cities so that someone can't run right next to your city and build. It's just... It's just not reasonable. But at the same time, the whole huge cultural sort of boundaries... I mean, I don't know. It's kind of an interesting concept, but... I don't really like how it turns the game into a big culture war. It's just not interesting. All right, maybe I can get this guy some muskets. No, not that guy. <clears throat> the one that's a veteran. Doesn't really matter, but I prefer to give veterans the muskets first. It's just this thing I have. All right, about this. You are going to prevent evil Frenchmen from invading our fair colony. And we have artillery in Guadalupe. I didn't build that. Ah, I unloaded it at some point. Get these ball get these Baltimores to Carpenter. Carpenteria. Get these Baltimores. See I've got these two Baltimores right here. Let me get them in here. Unload this guy. Sorry, only Baltimores are allowed to work at the carpenter's shop and Carpenteria. I don't know, I want the carpenter. Alright, so now we are building this fortress faster. It's taking forever, but two um, carpenters will help make it go faster. And I'm just gonna... Um, 
I could attack for an attack bonus of 50%, or I could fortify for a defense bonus equal to the, the terrain, which is 75%. So I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to stand there and block that, that damn Frenchman from going any closer to me. That's right, Frenchman. No Frenchman allowed. Stay away. Three. This guy needs horses, and there are no horses available. This guy needs wood to cut. I think I can help him with that. All right, here's what I do not like. No! Of course, their fort only has an attack of four, because they don't have any artillery there, but still. It's eight versus six. Six versus eight. Oh, well, we got lucky. New cargo of fresh muskets. Speaking of fresh muskets, I got some soldiers here. All right, new soldiers. Interestingly, the French did not attempt to get in here. The Dutch are kind of molesting me, but well, as long as I have a whole bunch of soldiers standing out here, they can't do anything. How much rum do I have? Two rum. All right, and how many horses do I have? 100 horses. Wow, 100 top quality horses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could use those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, five. All right, Santo Domingo has got to unload that rum. And they're breeding horses here in Santo Domingo, so that's that's good news. There's another 88 rum. Mm, 88 rum. What am I going to do with 88 tons of rum? Let me just put this here. And I think if one fortifies artillery out in the out in the country, then it loses the artillery and open penalty. What have I got here? 300 horses. Oh my gosh, I've got 300 horses. Where am I going to take them? Huh. Oh, I don't know. Roanoke or Plymouth, I suppose. And I've got a frigate here, but I don't really have any particular use for for it, so where do I need a frigate? Forget about it. Ouch. Boston, 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 Boston. We have too many tools here and not enough muskets, so I'm going to move this guy over to the arsenal from the blacksmith's shop. We are producing 16 ore and 14 tools, so... I think we have to upgrade this blacksmith shop to perhaps an ironworks. I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I'm not necessarily safe there, but at least, at least we're not s s uh, sitting next to this fort of Quebec. Our precious cargo will be endangered. Alrighty, got colonists to skip through. These turns are long. And I... <clears throat> I'm gonna dump these guys in Santa Domingo. I've got a third carpenter in Baltimore, but I don't think I can really fit another carpenter in there. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I did that. I should probably send him to Boston. Boston has two carpenters. Does anyone need a carpenter? Guadalupe needs carpenters. That's kind of a long walk, but... Yeah, that's right. You're not welcome here. Stay out of New England. 
Hmm. And do I need this lumberjack? Yeah, I need this lumberjack. Oh my gosh, I have so many of these people to cycle through. And if these two be attack me, then there's a whole army right behind that will exact bloody vengeance. Alright, we have a new farmer in Santo Domingo who's going to grow more food and, ergo, breed horses faster. 194 tons of horses. That's quite a lot of... that's, that's a heavy set of horses. Alright. So... One, two, three, four. Go to Guadalupe. Unload the rum. Unload the horses. And I don't need 18 tons of rum or three, 30 tons of cigars. That's not really worth doing. Doing excellent work exploring the Atlantic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got a lot of Dutch and French people milling around. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So over in Roanoke, not a good place to breed horses, really. Unload the horses anyway. A few horses may spoil, but, you know, whatever. Here, here's an idea. Use some of the horses so that they don't spoil needlessly. So apparently we would gain 20 horses if we had the food to feed them all. Oh, oh, oh. And we should actually be cutting wood here so I can produce something. Plymouth is not even doing anything because I've, I've got everyone crammed into the lumber mill. Oh, these Frenchmen have really done a number on You know what I've got to do? I know what I've got to do. I have got to begin a siege of Quebec. Yes, I like this idea. This is an idea, and it is an idea that I like. Let's go to Baltimore. I hardly ever go there, so... There's some cargo here. Some rum. I'll just take it all. Doesn't accrue that quickly. And I've got some... goods here. Yeah. Muskets. Ah, fresh muskets. Muskets. More. Muskets. Coats will sell. Tools, eh. I don't really need to put the tools here. We produce a fair amount of tools. And the trade goods I'm going to keep. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, we are going to begin a siege of Quebec. And by siege, I mean fortifying people all over this stupid little town so that they no longer have food or lumber. They will starve for what they've done. Sounds like fun, huh? Next time.